Alright, I'm back here with Fallscar. Um, I did go back to Skyrim and I decided to do a couple quests in between recording. But, can you on? Oh, I actually did forget to mention, I did completely start the game over because I got a, uh, well, I got this mod and I got, um, a new race mod. I'm playing as a, uh, a Tempress, actually. Very interesting race. Um, the two powers you get are, like, seduction magic. You get one that does, like, a voice of the Emperor type calm. And the one that's really cool that I really like is the one where you can, it's like I think Seductive Mayhem it's called, where you can just pit them against each other, and that is just fucking awesome. Um, but it does, it, instead of just being like a power that you can kind of cast like most of them, it's, it's a spell. Which is annoying because it's two-handed and it goes to the animation of being there. It actually would be alright for if I was going to do a stealth build. Which I think if I were to do another, if I were to do another playthrough, I'd definitely do this as a stealth build. But so far, just for general purposes, I usually do warrior type builds. But, alright, back to it now. We gotta go to the Hjormir, I, I can't pronounce it, it's some kind of armory, and... Alright, there's my companions. Go to the armory and kill a bunch of bad guys. Pretty simple, substandard shit. Oh, I do notice uh, in my videos, I do tend to swear a bit. It's more of a habit, which will probably never change. So, if you're offended by my languages, then why the fuck are you watching this anyway? Start my timer. That would probably help. We are getting wet. I usually like to start my. I usually like to have a timer just so I don't go overboard on recording. I don't want. I usually like to do a maximum of like 15 to 20 minutes. When me, Matt, and Austin shoot, we'll shoot an hours with the footage, and then we usually just edit out. We'll edit out the parts that are boring. And we usually split up into multiple parts as well. Knew it. Well, that's all the Skyrim adventure shit. This is all my soul work. That's why I only shoot in just one city. God damn it.
Oh, if anybody's wondering why I can have multiple followers, I think it's the mod. Amazing follower tweaks. Definitely very helpful. Also, I just like having multiple followers. Helps break up the monotony of doing the shit myself. So when I used to play this game, for a lot of years, I just exclusively played this game on PlayStation. And then very recently, once I finished my computer, I started playing this on PC. Mainly just because I prefer PC games. Uh, Skyrim, after a while, will just straight fucking break on a console. I mean, don't get me wrong, it will break on a PC, but it usually takes a bit longer, and I can do more things with it. Usually right around level, like, 40 on PlayStation, the game just... It uses so much data that it just stops working altogether. It's quite shitty, I know. 360, though, it... It did the same thing. Actually, really, surprisingly, I rarely ever use destruction magic. Usually, every time I do a mage build, I always do conjuration. Habits do die hard. I actually am playing this for the controller if you can hear that clicking noise. I find this an extremely hard game to play with a uh, keyboard. So far, I've, I've probably got maybe about an hour clocked in on this mod. It, it's uh, I like it. It's really, it's really, really well done. Though I mean, I praised it enough in my last video. And, cre and credits do go to towards uh. Oh God, I can't pronounce his name. Alexander Jiv something on the ne on the Nexus. And I actually want to see if he's done any other work because this mod is it, it's it's very popular. It's got like something uh, well over I think a half um, half a million downloads or it might be more than that I don't know I got off the Nexus it might be it might be on workshop Yes, my friend. Crick, do you need something? About a hundred years after we first arrived in Valska, it appears we are far to the northeast of Tamri. A great magic seems to surround this land, and a voyage to Tamriel takes far less time than we think it should. The only thing we are certain of is that we are on Earth. Same stars, same moons. At least, this magic makes it a, a very long time ago. A man claimed to have been spoken. The gods told him that they who arrived through the shimmering wall 
marked the start of the worst, and that they were deemed the traveler. This tale spread, and eventually became somewhat of a legend in Falskar. However, nothing ever happened until now. You have come through from Skyrim. If so, what does that mean is about to happen? The land has already... We have trade with Tamriel and had ships run back and forth for hundreds of years. So they know about us, though we are the... I am curious as to how these mercenaries you speak of learned about the specific game, and that we aren't even sure how it was done 700 years ago. This is certainly... The technology could provide useful for us, for all of Nern. And it would give Brother Dorlo something to do. Ingvar's family, the Junvaldirs, have fought ours for almost 600 years. We must take the possibility. The Junvaldirs are smarter than that. They are not much for declarations or show. I fear we may again his entire army. Then I am not sure what I wouldn't... You see, the last time we fought was just over 100 years ago. The war ended with us. The, they agreed to never try to gain power again. And ever since it has been mostly peaceful here, I am not sure. But, whatever it is, the Jorgunder family has served mine loyally for hunt. Follow the river east until you come to a street. Tell them that they are... It is not a statement that is spoken lightly. And they will know it means war is upon us. You know, this is making me want to watch Dune. With all the different houses going wrong, it's just like... Oh great, House Atreides is gonna fucking wanna get this some spice. I know that's wrong. I have watched Dune. I do know the plot. But I am just so bored that I don't really give a shit about discussing. What the fuck am I talking about? Who cares? I'm actually really curious as to how much new content there is in this mod. Greetings, friend. That bastard Ingvar up to something? We knew this would happen someday. Tell Agna that we will prepare, then head down there. This map is actually pretty huge. Um, it does look very unique, I will say that. Stalgard. Lordvolt. Omar Armory. Amber Creek. Uh, second Era The 895th year of the Second Era. Everything okay? Memory serves my lore. I think that it's was Red simple. Of her Now only ask one more time. Let us search, and then we'll leave. Oh, there's Yingvar. I don't know they what you're up to. Shit, that armor is yes. awesome. You will let us search, or else. Oh my god, that armor is. Or else tasty. what? Go back to Stargard. Yes. You are not welcome here. Excuse me, my Leave friend. me and my people in peace. I'll be back. 
and you'll regret this. Your whole town will. Got sick of Stalgard already? Here on vacation, are we? Shut up, both of you. Svegard! Fulgard! It's good to see you two again. Indeed. It has been what too long, mind? my friend. How may we serve you, my king? Svegard, I can we have been over on this. You. Sorry. How may we be of assistance, Agnar? Ingvar is up to something. There are some pretty amazing sights to see in false gods. Ah! What the fuck is that? He demanded to search the town, and has mobilized his entire army. His entire army? He is up to something for sure. I fear he may make a move on Amber Creek, or Borwald. I think you- What is on your mind? Me. Not a fucking- Of course, I know. Our swords are yours. Very good. Then we must figure out what... Brother Torvo? Have you decided to help? Ava, that bastard. What happened? He came to the Priory, demanding to search the place. We let him search the main temple. And when he wanted to search the private quarters, Brother Colin stepped in. His men simply killed him. And searched the place anyway. They tore it apart. We buried him. Don't worry, I'm not dead yet. He grabbed our weapons. We were Telemain neutral until provoked. And Ingvar just hit the beehive with the stick. Wherever you need us. La, we sons of Shore will la, be there. La, May Brother Collins be guided swiftly la, to some God. I am glad you decided to fight. This may be worse than we thought. What could Ingvar possibly want? He tried to search the Priory and then Amber Creek. Why hasn't he touched Borvald? Children creep me out. Either he is has already me, been there, the or he is headed there now. If we Jarl Warfred must be warned. Like? Then we are leaving your side. You're in too much danger. Olgar is right. Although you are. I must stay to more. I'm just going to shut up now before I really embarrass myself. That just leaves our friend here. That just leaves you. We'll stay here and look at guard reports. Maybe we can figure out exactly what Ingvar wants. Go to Borwald, the city on the plateau to the east. It's been locked down due to the increased bandit activity, but his house carl should let you in. Tell him what has happened. We are on the brink of war, one that will be bigger than any this land has seen before. Warn Jarl Valfred, time is of the essence, now go! It wouldn't be the perfect. Fortunately, it was later in the war, and severed hills. However, if Ingvar attacks now, Jarl Valfred will be completely under Holy shit. So apparently there's a lot at stake. My guess is the guy Yingvar is... I think he's searching for that fucking gate to get to Skyrim for some odd reason. Guarantee there's gonna be some kind of choice ending. Which I'll probably do like a two-parter on that. <sighs> well, I'm almost out of time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here. And then I'll resume recording once I get to Borvald. Until then, uh, I think we're getting deeper into this quest. Well, take it easy.